effortless as breathing. Now let's see how these same men will do with live ammunition. Remember that these are the first rounds they've fired since completing the basic firing course. In order that hits may be more easily seen, tracer ammunition is being used. Each target appears for only a short time, so shooting must be rapid as well as accurate. A burst of two shots assures at least one hit. At 25 yards, kneeling, the group will do fairly well. Of course, some of the men will make natural mistakes, but misses are not far off the mark. Minor corrections will put these men right on the target in a short time. With point firing, it's best to start close to the target and work gradually back as speed and accuracy increase. Watch this next man. After firing at the first target, he'll relax and change his grip on the gun, missing the second target completely. Here's a man who doesn't have his gun lined up with his arm and isn't shooting where he's pointing. This man, however, is using a tight grip and has the gun aligned with his forearm. Result? Hit. For teaching large groups of men combat or practical firing, a regular pistol range can be easily converted. The main requirements are a firing line at 50 yards and replacing the conventional bullseye targets with two bobbing targets placed eight feet apart for each firing point. When practicing the kneeling position, the pistol stands at the 25-yard line can be used to simulate obstructions over which to fire. The gun should never be rested directly against them or anything else when firing. If additional support is needed, rest the hand or arm against the solid object, but never the gun itself. For practicing point firing, shoot from the 15-yard line. Allow no more than two steps forward to maintain the safety angle. Point firing will require more practice than firing from either the prone or kneeling position. Courses of instruction should be designed to provide additional time for the standing position. To test judgment as well as marksmanship in a realistic setting, little Berlin or Tokyo installations may be used for small advanced groups. To avoid being picked off by snipers, the man being tested drops into prone at 50 yards. As he moves forward, he takes advantage of all cover keeping constantly on the alert, since targets may be rigged in windows and around corners. At 25 yards, the situation calls for the kneeling position. Ahead in the open, only point firing will be possible. This is combat firing, quick, instinctive the kind of training that can mean the difference between his life and yours.